It is Sunday, October 23rd. I'm Robbie O'Keefe, and every day this month I am playing a spooky game uh, for the month of October. I'm calling uh, this Robbie October. So, uh, three days ago I started playing uh, Poppy Playtime, which I had played very, very briefly uh, a few months earlier. Um, but I'm now in new sections that I've never been to. If you haven't watched previous episodes, you should uh, go ahead and do that. Yesterday was basically just doing the same thing over and over again, trying to get through this section here. So uh, I'm going to try again. If I can't make it today, I might just wind up giving up. Um, I know what to do, but I don't want to spend an eternity doing it over and over again. I suppose I could have showed you what I was running from, but you'll see in just a moment. More than likely, he's going to jump scare me up ahead. You can see him through the, uh, the wall right up here. Huggy Wuggy is running after me. And I've been having a heck of a time getting away from him. I go through this section, which takes forever. Go, go, go! Uh. Oh, I don't remember what to do! I do not remember what to do! Oh, that's right! I had it in my mind, and then as I got there, I completely forgot and blanked out on what to do. I was supposed to crouch and go through a tiny opening. So since you didn't even get to see why I started running when I did start running, I'm going to go ahead and walk towards him to begin with. But because of the uh, the funky way my camera behaves, it's normally easier for me to back up to activate Huggy Wuggy. But just so you could see uh, why I was being charged, when you get uh, far up here, he comes out and you have to get away from him. But as you can see, it's like blurry, and it's just, it doesn't behave correctly. The good thing is that for a while, I don't actually have to run, I can walk, which makes it easier um, getting through this section. But now I have to run, because he can catch you if you go too slow. Oh, I screwed up, I screwed up. Oh! I forgot I was going to need to turn, and then when I did turn, I got hung up on the wall. Which is a very disappointing thing that happens in games. It should know that I, I need to keep moving forward. I'm pushing forward, he's just not actually doing it. So, as you can see, uh, once he showed up, when I spun around, the camera was kind of blurry. Um, so, my computer just can't handle certain things. And so, that's why when I started, I was actually already facing the way I need to face. This section of the game is basically a lot of trial and error, and like I said yesterday, I spent uh, a half hour doing this over and over, oh, wrong way. I turned the wrong way again. But it's, I really wish they'd done a better job with the, um, the low time, as well as how much, or how far back it responds you. It takes forever as it is, and so it makes this a lot less interesting than it would be if it did some checkpoints, so that you don't have to remember every detail, you don't have to go through it dozens of times. I mean, there's no need for me to do this part. 
it could at least just start you in here once you've made it in here to save a little bit of time. Because at this point, Huggy Wuggy can't get to you, so there's no need for you to have to go through that previous part. Now, once you get up here, Huggy Wuggy just continues coming after you. So, yeah, it makes sense for there not to be a checkpoint, but, uh, it, the wind, oh, I... Alright, I'm gonna go to the right. Gotta try to make sure to remember where I'm gonna go so I'm prepared. Now, up here is gonna be to the left, but you have to crouch to get down. Alright. And now, I haven't made it through this section as much, so I don't tend to forget stuff. Okay, I stay here and basically just wait for... Alright. And I've, I think I've only made it through this part one time, so he's probably going to get me because I have no idea what I'm going to need to do. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, so how do you get off of this? I don't know. What is happening? I can't see. I can't go anywhere. What am I supposed to do? Maybe I need to calm down a bit. I guess um, when I get there, it's not that I'm scared anymore. I was, I was terrified when I started doing this. Now I've done it so much that I don't have much of a reaction to it. But because I know my time is limited, I start panicking and I just, like, I'm so, I'm so focused on doing it fast that I'm not being smart there. So maybe I don't, I need to not worry about getting grabbed once I'm at that section and I just need to focus on what is it that I actually have to do? So when I make it back there, that's what I need to do. I need to just look around and not like all quick and panicky. Go, go! Sometimes he just gets hung up on the wall and won't go. Which is especially frustrating because you have to waste so much time respawning so far back. out of here, I need to just look and figure out what do I do, okay, come on camera, I, I don't actually see anything, I can't, like you think you could jump over the rails or something, but you can't. 
it's possible there's something that I'm just not seeing, whether it be because of my, um, the way I don't notice stuff a lot of times, or maybe due to the faulty camera, but I just don't actually see what to do. The only thing that appears obvious would be to uh, jump over the rails, but I can't. It doesn't let me. Alright, next respawn, I'm going to switch the mouse, because a minute ago, um, when I was turning, it did not turn, and it, it, this is, uh, this is way too hard as it is, without a mouse that doesn't acknowledge being moved. I can't go in any direction. Oh, it seems like I'm stuck in the wall. No. Forward? No. Back? No. Right? No. So it won't let me do anything. So we'll load all the way back to the checkpoint, and while it's loading, go ahead and switch my mouse. I figured since the game wouldn't let me um, map buttons to the mouse, there was no reason for me to use my gaming mouse for this. But I forgot about the fact that my regular mouse is fine when um, when I'm using it to browse the internet. But when I'm playing games and I uh, move it to change the camera angle, sometimes it just doesn't acknowledge I'm moving. And so he'll continue facing the direction that I need him to look away from. Okay, the game must have just glitched up or something. Interesting. Can he get me at this point? I don't know why he wouldn't be able to. And now I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know where he is since I walked right through him somehow. I think he's coming again. I think he respawned behind me, maybe? I'm not sure. You know, when I couldn't move earlier, I'm curious if... I can let go of the alt key, and if that's the reason I couldn't move. Alright, to the point where I just can't figure out what to actually do. Alright, I don't see anything. Why? What is there to do? 
can I slap him? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Didn't I already try that, or was that, that not during that section? Maybe that's the problem, is I have to wait on him and then hit him with one of my hands? Because if not, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't find any. <laughs> But yeah, that was interesting that it glitched up that I spun the wrong way and wound up going right through him. Yeah, I was running, which was making it harder to control. Um, out of habit, I was pushing the, um, space key. Alright, this time I'm just gonna stand there and wait on him and see if I can hit him. Um, where is he? Wow, that was so fast! That actually startled me. Um, which is the first time in today's filming, because that was much faster. I, I could have swore I've seen him come out of there slower than that. Maybe I just need to be alternating in preparation of him like, like this. I don't know. The hands can be so slow about when they do and don't come back to you, though. And if I'm not supposed to hit him, then I just don't know what to do. I don't see anything. And I would say that's not really a puzzle when you don't have the time to look, especially if your camera's super glitchy. Well, the camera being glitchy doesn't change it being a puzzle, but it's not... It means that the puzzle's not the problem if the camera's screwing me up, it's the camera making it impossible to do the puzzle, I'm just rambling. Placing the control button uh, is not what was making me unable to move uh, through that vent earlier, because I did it that time and I kept moving. The hands are so slow about coming back. I, I just don't know what to do. I'm either going to have to look up what to do or just give up on this. Because I've looked around and I don't see anything. It did seem like I got a bit higher up on the railing this time. Maybe I could have done something the other direction. I don't know, but... I'm getting tired of doing the same exact thing over and over again. There is no reason to have to go through this whole, whole section so much just to do the same part that's far away. Alright, let's see. It's 
see how long this takes before uh, I'm able to start playing again after I respond. reason I wasn't going in the hole, so. I try to remember shortly before the hole to quit running so I could just walk into it without running over it. But that time I didn't, and I think I just bypassed it and then couldn't get into it. I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Um, I'm not having fun with this at all anymore. I just don't... There, I can't see what I'm supposed to do. And if I can't find what I'm supposed to do, I'm bored. I'm, I'm going to look it up, see what it is I'm missing when I get to that section. Uh, whether or not I will play this again tomorrow, I don't know. We'll see. I do have something else lined up for when I'm done with this, so I might just go ahead and start playing uh, that. But I'm going to be honest, I'm super discouraged by the ridiculousness of spawning me this far back so I can go through the same process over and over again so I can get to a section where I don't have time to look around to see anything. So, very good chance this will be the final episode of this. Uh, make sure you uh, tune back in tomorrow, whether it be for more Poppy Playtime or another game. Uh, please like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment below and 
check in tomorrow for some more uh, Robbie October. I'm Robbie O'Leaf, and I'm Robbie O'Leaf.